Hey guys, Michael from Fire and Brilliance. In today's episode, we will be going over the definition of what a simulated versus a synthetic gemstone means. And this is actually a word that's been going around for maybe a decade or so. Okay, so if you are confused as to what this means, make sure you tune into the episode because I'm going to get right into it for you. As a matter of fact, this causes a lot of controversy. Uh, matter of fact, it causes a lot of uh headaches especially if you are in the market that and you're trying to purchase uh, a gemstone uh, whether it's simulated or synthetic and you don't know the difference uh, some jewelers don't even know the difference so let me go ahead and break that down for you okay so uh, let's go here what is the difference between a simulated gem versus a synthetic gem a simulated gem are stones made to look like another gemstone but does not have the same chemical composition, qualities, and characteristics, okay? Um, so you may ask, what does that mean, right? Um, the only the difference between a simulated gem uh, versus a natural gemstone is that it is made to look like it, but it is not it in any form, shape, physical form, uh, or anything at all. The only similarity are the looks. Whereas the chemical composition, the physical attributes, uh, the refractive index and all that is all different. Okay, so let me give you an example here. Let's talk about diamonds, right? So if we are, if you can zoom in there, uh, if you, we are comparing a simulated gem, such as a cubic zirconia versus a natural diamond, uh, you may, uh, and, and you know, uh, obviously there are people that know how to see the difference, uh, but I'm speaking to the person that uh, may just be in the market, uh, may have never seen uh, a diamond close up or a, a cubic zirconia so close up uh, and cannot decipher the difference. Uh, this is this information is for you, okay? So um, a cubic zirconia, the difference between that and a natural diamond is that, well, first of all, the Mohs scale. What is the Mohs scale? Mohs scale measures the hardness of any gemstone. It goes from um, one to a 10, 10 being the hardest, okay? Um, a Mohs scale for a cubic zirconia is anywhere between an eight to eight and a half, all right? Whereas a natural diamond is a 10 out of 10. A, a diamond, uh, whether it's natural or not, is a 10 out of 10, so it's the hardest gemstone on earth, okay? Uh, the refractive index, uh, a 2.15 to 2.18 for a cubic zirconia, uh, versus a natural diamond has a refractive index of a 2.42. All that basically means is that how much brilliant sparkle and uh, does it have when sun shines right through it, okay? So the refractive index of a gemstone. Uh, so the cubic zirconia, um, it, let's break that down in terms of the physical properties and the chemical composition, okay? So the cubic, uh, the cubic crystalline form of zirconium dioxide is made to look like a diamond, but it's not a diamond in any physical uh, or chemical form. Whereas a natural diamond is made of almost 100% carbon. And, we, and I say almost 100% carbon is because most, most of the times, uh, if you know diamond, people will say it's made of carbon, right? Uh, the reason why we say it's mo made of most uh, uh, most of the times, uh, almost 100% carbon is because there are impurities in natural diamonds. Uh, there are, are other elements that may actually be in the natural diamonds. So even though it's 99.9% .9 or 99.8% carbon, uh, it's not always 100% carbon. All right. So, uh, but basically it's a carbon rock, right? So, uh, so what you may ask, okay, well, what's the difference between that and the synthetic diamond? Isn't it the same thing? And this is where most people get confused. It is not the same thing. Okay. So uh, a synthetic diamond are stones that are man-made, but are made of the same exact identical chemical composition. They are almost 100% carbon, have the same refractive index and the same Mohs scale hardness and all of the other measurements that are used to measure a diamond. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the example here. The synthetic gems, uh, synthetic diamond has the same exact Mohs scale versus the natural diamond, 10 out of 10. It has the same exact refractive index of 2.42, right? And is also both made of 100% carbon. So you may ask, okay, so what's the difference between a synthetic diamond versus a natural diamond? Uh, well, synthetic was used, uh, the words were used, you know, this word was used maybe 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Uh, these days, people use the word lab diamonds, right? Because it's made in labs. So yes, you guessed it. Basically, a synthetic diamond is a lab diamond and a lab diamond, all it is, is a man-made diamond. Is it a diamond? It is a 100% diamond uh, in terms of if you are measuring it from a physical attribute, 
uh, from a chemical composition, uh, from what it's made of, how it looks like, uh, how hard it is. Everything about it is a diamond. The only difference is that it is not mined. Uh, rather, it is man-made uh, and it is made in a lab, right? So, um, so you may ask, okay, well, okay, now you know the difference between a simulated diamond and a synthetic diamond. Uh, so does that make a moissanite a simulate or a synthetic? And that's a really good question, right? So uh, here is my answer for a moissanite. Well, if you've been following our channel for a long time, you may already know we are a jewelry company. And if um, and we do supply many lab-created forms from moissanite to lab diamonds to uh, ruby sapphires, you name it, we have it, okay? So if you haven't checked out our website yet, make sure you check out fireandbrilliance.com come uh especially now during the holidays we do have many special promos uh, uh, and if you are interested we uh, again uh you know i'm not really trying to hard sell anything but uh, our deadline for the holidays is coming up in the next two days okay so if you are trying to purchase before christmas make sure you place your order now because we are very very busy now going back to synthetic diamonds and natural diamonds and moissanite uh, many people do ask okay is moissanite a simulant or a synthetic diamond okay uh well First of all, moissanite is moissanite, right? Moissanite actually happens in nature. It does occur in nature. The only reason why it has be 100% or most moissanite that are on jewelry are synthetic moissanite is because it is not big enough to make into a gemstone. Therefore, it has to be made in a lab, it has to be cut, polished, and created, manufactured all in a lab. Uh, to be made big enough so that it could be set on jewelry, okay? So if you are purchasing moissanite with the intent of calling it a moissanite, then in, then in fact, not even in theory, in fact, it is a synthetic moissanite because it is not natural, it's man-made, right? Uh, if you're purchasing a synthetic moissanite. However, if you're buying moissanite to pass it off as a diamond, then therefore it is in by definition, a simulated diamond because you're trying to pass it off as a diamond, right? So it depends. So, so my answer to this is what is your intent? If your intent is to pass it off as a diamond, then it, is, then it should be considered a simulated diamond. But if, if your intent is that you love moissanite, you love the fact that it's almost as hard as a diamond, it shines more than a diamond, it's more brilliant than a diamond because of the refractive index. And if you love the fact that it is a moissanite, then you are purchasing a synthetic moissanite. Uh, so that is the uh, definition. All three, simulated diamond would be considered a CZ, or if you're trying to pass off a moissanite as a diamond, uh, or synthetic would be a synthetic moissanite if you love moissanite and you are, your intent is to wear it as a moissanite. And if you purchase a lab diamond, then that is a synthetic diamond. Okay, so uh, I hope I was able to really clarify the three definitions here because of many people that go online, uh, sometimes people argue, say, hey, you're just purchasing a simulated diamond, you're purchasing a synthetic diamond, you're purchasing a lab diamond, you're purchasing a diamond, a natural diamond. And, and many people, um, you know, sometimes use the words without the actual uh, true definition of what they really mean. Uh, so I really hope this actually uh, helps you guys out. Uh, and let's go into the next uh, to the last slide here. Uh, the one piece of advice that I do want to provide uh, to you guys uh, is that prices uh, may uh, vary depending on supply and dem demand, cost of production, and cost of materials. Okay, so people may ask, okay, well, why does one synthetic cost more than the next? Uh, why is it that one um, company charged more than the next? Uh, really, at the end of the day, it depends on who you work with, who has better connections. And uh, at the end of the day, it's all dependent on supply, demand, cost of production, cost of material, and the company that has a better connections. Okay. Um, and obviously, uh, always work with a trusted and specialist jeweler to attain accurate price and quality and integrity. And the reason why I say that's because, um, you know, let's, let's use an analogy, right? Um, if you are a person that loves pizza, right? You wouldn't go into a taco shop, although it's a restaurant, uh, and ask for a pizza, right? Uh, and if you love, um, you know, for example, um, Chinese food, okay? Uh, you wouldn't walk in into Italian restaurant and ask for Chinese food. Yes, they're both restaurants and they both have chefs in the back and they may be able to know how to make Chinese food, 
Uh, but guess what they specialize in? They specialize in Italian food, right? So um, so at the end of the day, it's the same thing when it comes to jewelry. Uh, many people put all jewelers into a bucket, uh, but not all jewelers are built the same. All jewelers are different. One jeweler may specialize in watches. Another jeweler may specialize in uh, custom grills, if you're into custom grills. Uh, and another jeweler may be uh, only working with gemstones. And another jeweler may only work with lab-grown gemstones and jewelry and fine jewelry uh, or different types of metal types. So it's extremely important that you work with a specialist when you shop for jewelry, especially during this holiday season. Uh, I hope I was able to help you guys out in terms of defining synthetics, simulants, and naturals. Uh, and if you have any questions, make sure you leave in the comment section below if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. Uh, and if you have not watched last week's episode, make sure you definitely tune in to uh, last week's episode here. Um, I, um, let's see here. Last week we went over... Uh, I can't remember. Brian, do you happen to remember exactly what we went over last week? But uh, anyways, we'll go ahead and leave a link here where you can quickly tap uh, or click on the link as soon as this live stream is over to watch the uh, last week's previous episode. Uh, and then it'll take you directly there. OK, uh, well, thanks again for tuning to the Gemini live every single week on Wednesday. And I'll see you again next week. Goodbye.